Hi guys, we're going to start this week with a basic uh, introduction to Rhino. Um, so start by opening up Rhino. Um, you'll see it comes up with a bit of a pop-up. We just want to click New. Um, generally speaking, we want to work always in millimetres. Um, by default, it should go to Small Objects Millimetres. Uh, that should be fine, um, so we're going to keep keep that. Um, you can see here it's got some information. Tolerance is 0 0.001 millimeters, which again should be fine. Okay, so you'll notice when you first start Rhino, uh, you'll have, have four windows. Uh, these four windows represent a perspective view, which you can spin around. Top view, front view, and right hand view. Um, just for the purpose of illustrating what those do, I'm just going to start by drawing a cylinder. And you can see in the perspective view, uh, we can rotate around, zoom in and out, and the front view, so the top view and the right view. Um, you'll notice that each of these grid points represents one millimeter, um, and the major grid lines every 10. Uh, this is default. Okay, so what we want to do just have a look at some basic controls. So to click and select any objects in Rhino, you just left mouse click. Um, nice and easy. Uh, you'll notice there's a few options down the bottom here. Uh, generally speaking, you'll have uh, grid snap turned on and off, object snap. And you can see this colorful display here that comes up when I click. That's just turned on and off by hitting gumball. And um, that can be really handy. Um, and I'll show you why. Uh, we can just click on any of these arrows and drag in a required direction. Okay, and you can do that in any of the views. Um, the gumball will lock you in either X, Y, or Z directions. So you can see here X, Y, and Z. Uh, which can be handy to move objects around. The next thing we want to look at is uh, where our toolbars are. So we'll just start up the top here. You'll notice a number of menus. You've got File. This is where you're going to open and close, save your work. Edit. Um, we can do things like undo, grouping, uh, visibility, layers. Uh, we'll get into that shortly. Uh, view. We can essentially change the view what style of view we have from wireframe, show you just the edges, shaded, rendered. Um, you'll notice it's only changing in the active viewport. In this case you can tell it's active by the name being blue. If you click on any viewport they become active. Okay. After the view we have uh, the first of our menus that represent uh, the tools we're going to use. Um, these are organized in a really logical way. So you have you start with curve, uh, these being the basis of all 3D models uh, created in Rhino. So uh, you have lines, polylines, rectangles, all these kind of different sorts of curves. I'll just show you what I mean by a curve. You can see this is a curve. It's just, just any straight line. It has no thickness, nothing to it. Um, you see here, and create a different kind of line. That's a curved line. Um, I can also create a, a rectangle, for example. And this is what, um, and this is how uh, 3D models start. Um, at this point, I just want to uh, make my perspective pane bigger. And to do that, you just need to double click on perspective. So with the left mouse button, you can just double click to uh, go between. Uh, you can also hit control tab once you've done that and that'll cycle you through. So control tab, you can see it's going top, front, right, and perspective. Um, so I'll just leave it in the perspective view for now to give you a better view. Um, after curve, um, from there we create surfaces. So that's the next menu. Um, there's a whole different sort of set of options here and there's a whole lot of ways to create surfaces um, which we'll get more familiar with uh, as the semester progresses. 
Um, from there you have uh, solid, which allows you to create solids, um, uh, which is the last step of creating a 3D model. Um, so I'll just give you an example of a surface. So with a surface we can do something like extrude curve straight, click a curve, pull it up, I'll change my view here to shaded, and you can see now we have a surface based off that curve. Um, I can try this again, surface, this time I'll choose planar curves, which means flat curves, I'll hit OK. And then I can try, turn that into a solid by doing solid extrude surface. Sorry, extrude surface straight. Okay, and there you go, now we have a solid cube. Uh, we have some more menus up here, but we'll leave those for now. Um, we also have another set of quick uh, access menus just here. Um, you'll notice the quick little panel here. Uh, that's all we're going to need for now. Um, that has some selection tools, uh, some basic curve tools, um, some primitive creation tools, um, so basic block shapes, and some Boolean tools, which will add and subtract and remove different shapes. Um, we won't need much more than that. Now the last thing uh, with the interface is, uh, that's really neat with Rhino, is that you can actually just type in commands. So I'm not pressing anything, you can see there's a command line just here. If I type the command uh, move for instance, it's going to come up with the next prompt, select objects to move, press enter when done. Uh, at this point, uh, to press OK in Rhino, you can either hit spacebar or press enter. I generally hit spacebar, it's just easier to find quicker. Um, now it's asking me the point to move from, so I'm just going to click arbitrarily and point to move to. Um, again, uh, we can we can do other object we can do other commands from here such as scale. Um, have a whole bunch of options. You'll see once you start typing, all the sort of tools come up uh, that have that those words in it. So it's a really, really quick way to navigate the interface. Um, can get a bit confusing sort of going through all the menus, all these viewports, trying to find the tool you want. If you know the name of the tool um, and you'll get familiar with all the basic tools pretty quickly, um, you'll be able to uh, navigate that pretty quickly. Okay, um, that's it for the first video, just a basic introduction. Um, Thanks.